Hi guys, welcome to Be Defined Creative Fight. Today's video is going to be another review, first impression demo of Japanese new Velvet Touch eyeshadow palette and Velvet Touch face palette. This is my first time ever using Japanese products and I'm going to swatch every single color in this video and also create a look and show how it looks on my face. Let's get started! This is how the packaging of eyeshadow and face palette looks. They are very similar. When you open the box, products come in these black palettes which are magnetic and very great quality and I think they protect the shadows really well. So this is the face palette. It consists of three blushes, a highlighting color and the bronzer. And their eyeshadow palette consists of eight matte shades with great selection of the colors that can be used for everyday makeup or special occasion. Let's see how they swatch. I'm going to go over each swatch twice. The eyeshadows feel soft. The color payoff is pretty good so far. This is how the face palette swatches. Three blush colors, highlighter and the bronzer. But let's see how it all applies on my face. My eyes are a little red from the pool. I will try to create a look that involves as many colors as possible. So first I'm going to prime my lid using NYX eyeshadow base in number 3. So first of all, I'm going to set my brow bone using matte beige color. I used Pure Minerals Blending Crease Brush and now grabbing Luxie 229 brush, I'm going to define my crease using the shadow number 5. The eyeshadows blend very easily as you can see and I just grabbed a little bit on my blending brush and it was enough to define my crease nicely. Now I'm going to grab flat eyeshadow brush and add little warmth to my crease using color number 2. I'm saying numbers for the eyeshadow description because the packaging marks each eyeshadow with a number. Now going back to my blending brush, I'm going to blend out the color. Now I'm going to grab shadow number 4 which is relatively darker and I'm going to apply it just on the outer part of the crease to add some depth and kind of blend it out. I'm not grabbing any more product with my blending brush, I'm just blending lid color. I want to use as many colors as possible just to see how they apply so I'm going to cut my crease and use 2-3 colors on my lid. For that I'm going to grab my eyeshadow base and clean up my mobile lid. Now using flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to apply matte vanilla shade on my tear ducts and inner corner of the lid. And then I will continue by adding shade number 6 on the center of my lid. This is the matte olive green shadow. Since the eyeshadow is really pigmented, I'm barely touching my lid. Once I apply that, I'm going to grab the shadow number 8, which is the darker shade, and I'm going to apply it on the outer corner. The pigmentation is amazing and the color payoff is great. You don't need to go over with a brush several times to see the color payoff. Swipe once and you can already see the color there. Also, the eyeshadows blend really easy. I already can feel that this is going to be one of my favorite palettes. I decided to apply number 8 on the lower lashes as well. Also, with the shade number 3, I'm going to clean up the top part of the cut crease and just soften up with my blending brush. Let's apply the shadow number 2 on the lower lashes. Now it's time to add liner, lashes and the eye look will be done. I want to create softer liner look so I'm going to use brown gel liner by Tarte Cosmetics and apply it on my waterline and also create a winged liner. I used Lina Lashes in Goddess for the false lashes and the eyes are done. I'm truly impressed with the quality of eyeshadows. The pigment payoff was amazing. It was so easy to work with. They didn't come out patchy at all. They glide so smoothly and there was minimal fallout as well. And blending the shadows was effortless. I'm pretty sure this palette is going to be my go-to palette for the next few weeks and of course upcoming fall season because these colors are beautiful fall shades. Now let's try on the face palette. When I was swatching the blushes, I felt like they were a little more powdery. I would say a little chalky, but let's see how they apply. First, I'm gonna start with bronzer using Luxie 534 brush. So the pigmentation of the bronzer is pretty good. So you don't need much product, which is good. The color of the bronzer reminds me of Hula Bronzer by Benefit. It's cool brown shade that goes with most of the skin tones. Not, not all of them, but most of them. So far, so good. I really like the way bronzer apply. Let's try the blush. So I'm going to apply this blush on the apples of my cheek and the shade on my cheekbones. 
So when using these palettes, be careful. The pigmentation is amazing. You don't need much product. Now I'm gonna grab a little bit of the other color. Let's tone it down a little bit. I think it's too much. And the last but not least, let's try the highlighter. For the highlighter, I'm using Modex Fan Brush from their Pro Brush Set. And I'm going to apply it on top of my cheekbones. I'm going to add a little bit of highlight on the brow bone area and on the inner corners of the eyes as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a lip color. So for the lip color, I'm going to use Beauty Addict's Beautiful Lips Lipstick in the color Express Toast. Lately, I've been loving applying touch of the highlighter on the center of my lower lips. I'm going to do that and the look is done. So my final thoughts on these two palettes are followings. I am in love with eyeshadow palette. As I said, this was my first time ever trying Japanese products and these eyeshadows were one of the best eyeshadows I've tried. As for the face palette, this palette is perfect for lighter to medium skin tones. Bronzer color goes well with most of the skin tones. The highlighter color is good enough to show on my skin. As I said before in my videos, I have a hard time making highlighters pop on my skin and blush selection is all-time favorite colors including pinks and corals. Overall, I'm very impressed with the quality of both palettes. These palettes will be available starting last week of August. If you have any questions or if you want me to create certain look using these products, please comment down below or reach out to me on any social media outlets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will see you next time. Until then, stay blessed!